Okay, in this video, we're going to look at this ARM Cortex M3 module, sometimes referred to as the Blue Pill. Now, it's a little bit bigger than Arduino Nano, but you get it for about the same price, around $4 online. Now, this module contains an STM32F103C8 microcontroller. It has 64 kbytes of flash and 20 kbytes of RAM, and you can clock it up to 72 megahertz. Now, now it runs on 3.3 volts, but there's an internal regulator, so you can power it up with 5 volts through the USB port or uh, through one of the pins. You can also power it up directly by 3.3 volts through one of the pins or into this connector here. Now, this module has a reset button and has two jumpers. It's a boot 0 and boot 1 jumper for uh, activating the bootloaders. Now, there's a couple of ways we could upload a hex file into this uh, microcontroller. We could use ST Link which uses these pins here. So we use the SWD, Serial Wire Debug, and we could upload a hex file into the microcontroller using that bootloader. Or we could use a serial bootloader, a serial flash bootloader, and we could upload a hex file through the USART-1 using an FTDI. And all the software needed to upload a hex file into this microcontroller is a free download online. Okay, this is my setup to program a hex file into my ARM microcontroller. And normally you could buy a programmer from ST Microelectronics or get a third party dongle, but I'm going to use my discovery board to program a hex file into my ARM microcontroller. Now, normally on the discovery board, this section here is the ST interface, ST Link uh, programming interface, which programs the microcontroller through these jumpers. But if you remove these jumpers, now you can get access through the SWD uh, pins uh, through this header here and you can connect them up to your microcontroller. Now you just need three wires. There's a ground, there's a clock, and a, a bi-directional bus. So only three wires for the SD link to hook up to your microcontroller. Now you could use this circuitry here and the software to program a hex file into the microcontroller. Okay, I have ST link utility up and running on my computer. And I have my discovery board plugged into my USB port on my computer. So I'm using my discovery board as an ST-Link programmer to program a hex file into the Blue Pill module. Now I've removed the jumpers from the discovery board, so it won't program the microcontroller on the discovery board. It'll be patched over to the Blue Pill module. So if we go up to Target and hit Connect, now we're connected to the Blue Pill module. If you look down, we can see we're connected via SWD, so we're ST-Linked into the Blue Pill module. So now I can go to Target and go down to Program and Verify. And there's the hex file I'm going to load into my uh, Blue Pill module. It's uh, McCrisp. It's a fourth operating system. So you can just hit your Browse button and find where your hex file is on your computer. And then it will come up in this, in this uh, uh, text box. So we hit Start. And you can see it's programming. And down at the bottom it says Flash Memory Programmed. And the verification is OK. So now my fourth operating system is installed on my Blue Pill module. And now I just have to hit the reset button and the program will run. Okay, here's my setup to upload a hex file into the Blue Pill module using the serial port and flash loader software. If you look at the module, you can see that my boot zero jumper has been moved over, so it's tied high to VDD, 3.3 volts, so it's in bootload mode. And I'm powering my module through the USB port. Now my FTDI module, I have my jumper set for 3.3 volts and you can see the TX and RX lines coming out and feeding the USART-1 of the Blue Pill module. Now the STM32F103 microcontroller does not come with a factory DFU bootloader where you could upload a hex file through the USB port. Now you could get third party bootloaders where you could upload a hex file through the USB port but in this video I'm just going to talk about factory bootloaders. There's only two ways we could upload a file into the Blue Pill module. That's through the ST link, which uses this connector here, and by using the serial port, USART 1, and an FTDI module. Okay, I have my serial flash loader software up and running on my computer. And I have my FTDI module plugged into the USB port on my computer. And I'm powering up the Blue Pill module through the USB port. It's getting its 5 volts through the USB port. Now if you look up on the screen, we could select the port name, 
And there's the COM52. That's the, the that's the COM port of my FTDI module. So we'll select that and hit next. And you can see it says target is readable, so it sees the blue pill module and it sees the flash size of 64 um, kilobytes. So we go to next, and we can see it's it's uh, it's seeing the target device STM32F103. So we'll go to next, and we'll go to uh, download to device, and we'll hit the browse button, and we'll select hex because it's a hex file. And there's my hex file I want to load up. That's my McCrisp, my fourth operating system. So we'll open that. Now we'll go down to next. And you can see it's downloading the hex file into the blue pill microcontroller, the ARM microcontroller. And now the download operation is finished successfully. So now my hex file is loaded into my blue pill module using the serial port and my serial flash loader. Okay, I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer, and it's connected to the serial port of the Blue Pill module, and I got my fourth operating system up and running. So if I hit enter on my keyboard, you see I get OK Echo back, so we're ready to send commands. So we could send some commands to blink the LED, and there's the LED blinking. If I hit any key, shut it off. I could turn on the LED. The LED is on. I could send a command to turn it off. Now I can send a little script. So we'll toggle the LED, then wait 500 milliseconds, and do that many times over and over again until I hit any key. So there's a very simple blink script until I hit any key, and it just turns it off. Now we can send some ASCII codes to this terminal. Whenever we press a, a key on our keyboard, we actually send the ASCII code. So if I send ASCII 65, that's a capital A. If I send ASCII 97 emit, that will send it to the to the terminal. That's a that's a lowercase. If I send 07 emit, that's a control that will actually beep or ring the bell. You can actually hear it. I'll do it again. So we could write a little program. So we'll start with colon. That starts the compiler. And that's the name of our program. It's called beep. And the code that will run is 07 emit. And now we'll take it out of compile mode into back into interpret mode. Now if I hit beep, if I type beep, I get a beep. And if I go beep, and then the delay, 500 milliseconds, and we do that five times. So that's just a little example how we can do some simple programming using 4th on the ARM microcontroller.